Coming up on 12 News at 11. The Olympics are underway in Beijing, and one decorated Olympian announced it's his last run. Hear from him about his career. Plus, an exotic animal show took place in Morgantown today. We'll show you the crawly, crawly creatures. We have them clouds and snow moving out of the region with some sunshine and warmer temperatures on the way for next week. I'll have those details coming up tonight. Stay with us. A heritage of resilience, a legacy of courage and triumph. From all that we've lived and all that we've learned, let's join together, taking meaningful action in the communities we share because black history is American history and the future is ours to define. Together, we rise. Honoring Black History is proudly sponsored by Fairmont State University, Cooper Law Offices, Simple Cuts Barbershop, and the Miley Legal Group. WBOY, the news team of champions. Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, weather caused a concert to be rescheduled in Clarksburg. We'll tell you all about the new date. Plus, a heroic save caught on camera. We'll tell you how one child's life was saved by a selfless woman. After a lot of wintry mess over the past few days, sunshine and warmer temperatures are on their way. I'll have those details coming up as 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Working for you. This is WBOY, now in high definition. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks for joining us. Josh, did I hear you say warmer temperatures? I like that. I did, Gina. We are getting into some warmer temperatures into next week as those clouds are clearing out as we head overnight. That sunshine returns tomorrow and allows those temperatures to become much milder into next week. Overnight, 9 degrees for a low across the lowlands here, even colder as we head up to the mountains. So make sure that you are bundling up if you are heading out. Those wind chills will be even lower in those single digits overnight tonight. And very clear before we head into tomorrow, 43 degrees for a high. We are very, very mild compared to what we have seen over the past few days with that going into the beginning of the week with a chance of some mountain flurries into Monday. But I'll have more details coming up in just a little bit. Gina? Thanks, Josh. Well, because of those poor weather conditions, the Robinson Grand Performing Arts Center had to reschedule the Mark Wills concert that happened in Clarksburg. The concert was originally tonight, but has now been rescheduled for Saturday, March 19th at 8 p.m. Any tickets purchased for the February 5th show will be honored in March. Market on Main held their soft opening today in Bridgeport on West Main Street. The new business only sells products from West Virginia vendors like Art and Woodwork. Over 30 vendors were handpicked to display and sell their products at the new business. The co-owners hope to make the building a gathering place for the community to show local businesses. Come shop here, support small, support local. It can be kind of a one-stop shop. You know, you can get groceries here. You can get, you know, different household items here. Like, it's not so much just a place you come to shop for a special occasion. One thing that I tell our makers, you know, when people do come in and get a chance to meet them and to see the faces and the families that are behind that product and, you know, who um, their purchases, who that supports, and to hear the stories about, you know, why people started doing it, you know, why Stephanie started making soap. I think all of those stories are interesting. A organic grocery store is expected to open in the business in March. The Holiday Inn in Morgantown hosted their exotic animal and reptile expo today. 20 different vendors set up and showcased hundreds of different species and the materials to properly care for each one. One vendor says they use this opportunity to educate the community about reptiles and build the future generation of their keepers. The education of how to properly care for the animal is the most important thing. You know, you just can't pick up a reptile and, you know, put it in a box. You need to be educated on how to properly care for these animals. Literally, the vendors here are uh, very experienced, very knowledgeable, and if you're going to want to learn about reptile keeping, this is the place to come. 
The next Morgantown Exotic Animal and Reptile Expo will be in April. Queen Elizabeth II will celebrate the 70th anniversary of her induction to the British throne tomorrow. Yesterday, she viewed a series of items from the Royal Archives ahead of her Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The items shown to the Queen included a series of cards and paintings drawn by children to celebrate the Queen's Golden Jubilee in 2002. Elizabeth ascended the throne at age 25 on February 6, 1952, after the death of her father, George VI. Since then, presidents, popes, and prime ministers have come and gone, the Soviet Union has collapsed, and Britain's own once mighty empire has dissipated, replaced by a commonwealth of 54 nations with which Elizabeth was instrumental in creating. An Ameri American Olympic icon says he's competing in his last games. Sean White announced today that the Beijing Olympics, which is his fifth Olympic appearance, will be his last. Here's what the three-time gold medal winner had to say about his career. I've been giving it my all. There's been some ups and downs along the way to get here. Um, but through all of that, I feel like I've gotten stronger, gotten better. And, uh, and now I'm with these amazing uh, teammates. And... Um, I'm just so excited about everything. Opening ceremony was incredible. Uh, you know, the venue looks incredible. Um, just enjoying every single moment. And um, I don't know, I've done so much in the sport. I don't know, a legacy to leave behind. I think, it, I don't know, I hope it, my writing speaks for itself. Sean White is scheduled to compete in the half pike qualifying Tuesday at 11.30 p.m. Eastern time. Coming up next on 12 News Weekend Edition, a shooting in Virginia leaves one person dead and four others injured. We'll tell you what police know. Have you been hurt by a truck? You need an experienced lawyer to handle these difficult cases. At Hayhurst Law, we've recovered millions of dollars on behalf of truck accident victims. Hayhurst Law. Protecting you. All parks locations are open and now is the time to own a Kubota and think about gardening. Kubota Diesel Power will help you get your garden ready. Cut your brush, straighten up your driveway, and cut your grass from $119 a month. Work hard, play harder. Parks. CMR offers warranties up to three years and guarantees their work. So if your vehicle is chugging along, CMR Rebuild is your answer. With over 30 years of experience building manual and automatic transmissions, differentials and transfer cases, plus the latest snap-on technology offering computer diagnostics to troubleshoot any type of vehicle you have. We're an official Synchrony Napa Auto Care Center. CMR Rebuild, just off the Joy Street exit in Clarksburg. So a lot of people my age and the young population don't think we need the vaccine. We're healthy. We're seeing this COVID-19 affect everybody. We don't know who can go bad quickly, so you may have COVID and be fine for a couple weeks and turn bad quickly and you have to be hospitalized. Getting the vaccine as a young, healthy adult helps protect you from getting severe COVID. Also, by being vaccinated, you're helping to eradicate COVID-19. Our new flooring arrives in March. Everything must go. Purchase your flooring in January or February and receive 7% off. You could save hundreds or even thousands. So visit WCO Flooring America, Fairmont, Morgantown, or Anmore. Life can change in a matter of seconds. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, give our experienced legal team a call today. We know how to handle difficult insurance companies to get the compensation you deserve. Hayhurst Law, protecting you. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOI. Brought to you by Meadowbrook Mall. Working for you, this is 12 News Weekend Edition. One person is dead and several others were injured in a shooting Friday night in Virginia. Late Friday night, police were called to the scene of a mass shooting at a lounge near Virginia Tech University. One person was killed and four others were injured and taken to nearby hospitals, one of which is a Virginia Tech student, according to the university. 
The severity of the injuries of the four individuals is not known at this time. Police say they are now investigating the shooting in downtown Blacksburg as a homicide. Officials have not released any details about what led to the shooting, and they have not said if anyone has been arrested in connection with the incident. A Tennessee jury listed, listened to impact statements today to determine how to sentence the man found guilty on all charges in a 2018 Waffle House mass shooting. On Friday, after deliberating for over three hours, a jury found Travis Rain King guilty on 16 charges, with the jury rejecting the defense's argument that he was not sane at the time of the shooting. In 2018, Rain King walked into a Waffle House and started shooting, killing four people and injuring four others. The sentencing phase started today, where the family members of the four people murdered, as well as the shooting victims, are given the opportunity to speak. Jurors will have to decide if Rain King will be sentenced to life behind bars with or without the possibility of parole. A massive rescue effort to save a young boy trapped in a deep well for more than four days in Morocco is over. The boy died before rescuers could reach him. They recovered his body Saturday night. The boy fell into the 100-foot deep well near his home on Tuesday. Crews lowered a rope to send oxygen and water down to the boy, as well as a camera to monitor, to monitor him. They dug a tunnel into the hillside to reach him, but they ran into a large rock that slowed them down. Morocco's king has expressed his condolences to the boy's parents. Police in Colorado made an arrest and rescue after a multi-day, multi-state kidnapping. NBC's Blaine Alexander reports on the kidnapping of Michael Bloomberg's housekeeper. It took just seconds for police to surround this Wyoming motel, bringing a terrifying multi-day, two-state kidnapping to an end. Subject is believed to be armed with two firearms. This drone video shows the moment officers rushed in, rescuing 46-year-old Amanda Edinger and arresting this man, 48-year-old Joseph Beecher. His target, officials say, the ranch owned by former New York City mayor, billionaire, and presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg. According to a federal affidavit, Beecher arrived at Bloomberg rural Colorado ranch Wednesday morning where he used his truck to ram through the security gate and enter the house. Edinger, employed as the supervising housekeeper, turned around to find a black machine gun pointed at her face, she later told police, and says he then forced her to drive more than 200 miles toward Denver, then on to Cheyenne, Wyoming and this motel. According to a Colorado affidavit obtained by the Associated Press, Beecher went on rants about Bloomberg, asking the whereabouts of his adult daughters by name and saying he wanted to make an international scene. Police ultimately tracked Edinger's iPad to the motel, rescuing her unharmed. I think this was the key to finding her. If that iPad had not been available in that truck, Lord knows how long it would have taken. Police say the suspect had no ties to Bloomberg or his family. In all, four different local and federal agencies were involved. In a statement, a spokesperson for Bloomberg thanked them all for their swift and heroic action. Is there a lesson to be learned from this? Think about how you're going to conduct yourself if it happens to you. Do you know how to calm yourself down, engage in conversation, save your own life? Beecher is now facing multiple state and federal charges. Blaine Alexander, NBC News. A Maryland crossing guard is being hailed as a hero after protecting a child from an oncoming car. This video posted on Facebook shows Police Corporal and Annette Goodyear signaling an oncoming car to stop just as the child began to cross the street. A car is seen approaching the crosswalk. Goodyear soon realizes the car is not stopping in time, throws the child to safety at the last minute, and is struck by the car herself. The student and the driver of the vehicle can be seen coming to Goodyear's aid as she's lying on the ground. Goodyear was taken to the hospital with minor injuries and was later released. According to the Cecil County Sheriff's Office, the driver of the car...